Hey fantasy family, need to beef up your short story writing or make your next fantasy short story the best one yet? In this video, I will show you the eight tips you must know to do just that. So stick around. These eight steps I'm about to share are ones I use in every short story I write, including Twins of Shadow, which is three short stories made into one novella. Let's dive in. And remember, for the best fantasy writing advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so you are notified about every video I post every Tuesday. The first point to cover in your short stories is high stakes. You have to have high stakes. And I don't mean death. You can risk your character's life, but that's not going to cause a deep connection between your character and your reader. Life and death is risked all the time. So take it deeper. For example, let's look at Harry Potter. Yes, Harry's life is on the line because he who shall not be named is after him. But is that why we care about him? No! We care about him because he is an orphan and his aunt's family treats him horribly. Their treatment of sweet, young Harry makes us want to root for his freedom from their tyranny. The stakes, therefore, become more than life and death. Do you see how the deeper risks makes the stakes higher? This in turn makes you become interested and start to care about the storyline. Your readers feel the same. So the more depth you can put into what your character is risking, the more high the stakes end up being. The second thing you must have in your short story is an awesome main character. This doesn't mean they have to be a superhero figure. It means that there has to be something about your character that is special. Some examples. A prince with a disability that makes it difficult for him to talk with people. I'd like to know how he saves the kingdom despite that obstacle. This special trait can be a magical power, in addition to the character's desires, abilities, or lack thereof. Bottom line, I'm telling you to veer away from cliché. If you've read about it before, don't copy the character idea. Give it your own twist. I want to read what you come up with. Your imagination is phenomenal. So let it take you to the depth of your amazing, not cliche, character. The third thing you need is absolutely no pointless descriptions. In short stories, you don't have a lot of time to tell your story. Therefore, you should not waste your precious word count on pointless descriptions, like the color of a flower and the texture of its petals. You also don't need to tell me everything your character is wearing or describe every scar in their body. Some character descriptions are acceptable. For example, his purple eyes turned to the sky could work because it's super quick and included in the actual text of the story. However, here's an example of what is unacceptable. He had black hair and pale skin, dressed in clothes as black as night, with a long sword strapped to his side. A deep scar cut across the side of his face. The expression he bore drove daggers into the hearts of whoever saw it. This is a chunk that would take up too much space in your precious short story. If you must describe your character, do it through your character's actions in a way that drives the story forward. Here's how I'd change the bad example. His black hair blew in the wind as he swung his long sword toward the demon. And then continue on with descriptions scattered throughout the story. It doesn't waste your word count and makes the story smooth like karma. Yum. In this area of absolutely no pointless descriptions, what we said about characters is the same for settings. Don't spend a full paragraph or two explaining what the setting is. Show it as you reveal the epic plot your short story is about. Mastering this point will sharpen your short stories and make them much more professional. And you want to be professional. No mediocre here. Okay guys, let's tackle the fourth point here hard and fast. In fantasy short stories, you must use magic. It may seem obvious, but just in case it wasn't, I'm pointing it out here. Have you ever read a fantasy short story without magic? It's a must in our genre. And if you are labeling your short story as fantasy, your readers are expecting magic. So please don't let your readers down. On that note, comment below and tell me what your favorite magical power is. <laughs> Evil laugh, why did you sneak in there? My favorite power, BT dub, is invisibility. It'd be so cool to hide whenever I want and move things around to freak people out. Sorry, evil side cutting coming out right there. Now let's check out point five. 
and short stories don't use too many characters. I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but remember, you don't have a lot of time to tell your short story. Hence the word short, right? Too many characters will make your short story muddy, and the fast story arc that we need here won't work. Therefore, shoot for three characters, give or take one. What I mean by that is make your short story about one character, but you can give him two sidekicks to make the story work. But try not to have more than two sidekicks. Here's a helpful tip. If you are writing a prequel to a story with a bunch of characters, use a friend duo or sibling duo to feature in your short story and make one of the friends or siblings the main character. Also note, if you're writing a short story series, you do have time to focus on two characters, but they have to be on the same plot line. No splits here or you're on the path to writing a novel and not a short story. Point number six, know your word count before you start. I like to shoot for 4,000 words and then I can break it into four 1,000 word parts. I break down why I do this in my video, four easy steps to writing a short story. Go check it out if you need help structuring your short story. A few words I want to elaborate on about word count is as follows. Knowing your word count helps your subconscious know what to shoot for when writing your story. Your subconscious is brilliant and will know how fast or slow your scenes need to be in order to reach your word count goal. So set your goal and trust yourself. It will make your short story writing easy. Point number seven, stick with a few settings. What I mean by this is as follows. Don't make your characters travel across the realm and try to hit each city on stop. Again, you don't have time for that in a short story. And if you did do as such, it would look messy and most likely annoy your reader. In all honesty, I believe you can feel how many scenes your short story needs, so trust yourself. But as a rule of thumb, if you're just starting out, your scenes could change every quarter of your short story. So if you're writing a 4,000 word short story, then every thousand words, your setting could change. Point number eight in your short story, that you must do is close out your massive conflict and preferably in a positive way. There's a few reasons for this. A short story will most likely already have cliffhanger parts in it. For example, another character was lost in a fight and we have no idea what happened to him. Closing out the main conflict will help make up for the lack of knowing what happened to good old lost character. Your short story will also feel incomplete if you do not close out the main conflict. Now for the reason I suggest you close it in a positive way. Your readers spend their precious free time reading your work. They want to be entertained and experience the rise and fall of your story. They also want to feel like they didn't waste their time. If you leave them on a bad note, they will be mad at you and probably won't come back to read another story you've written. You have absolute creative rights to what you write. But remember, the reader also has absolute right to never come back and read your work again. And dear, wonderful writer friend, we want them to come back. Now you know the eight short story writing tips for fantasy that you must know. If you want to see them in action, check out Twins of Shadow, which is three short stories made into one novella. Click the link in the description below to download the book for free and use it as a reference. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your writer friends. Because sharing is caring. I'll see you guys in the next video.